Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can move a thin report from one workspace to another and reconnect it to another data set. Stay tuned. If you find this for the very first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date from all the videos from both Adam this guy. Okay, then report is a report that's live connected to a data set that's already published in Power BI. And let's say you don't have premium and all the fancy features, you just have a pro license. And your development environment consists, for simplicity's sakes, just of a development and a production environment. So you create your data set, you publish your data set to development, you create your data set, you publish your data set to production, and you can switch connection strings, you have parameters and stuff like that. And I've done videos on these, you go check it out. But now you have this report that's live connected to your data data set in development and you want to move that report to production, but you need to switch to that data set that's published to production. You don't know how to write code. I did a video on rebinding. I write some PowerShell to switch between data sets, but you don't want to do that. You just want to use a desktop. How do you do it? Well, enough of all this talking. You know what we like to do? Let's head to my laptop. So you have these two workspaces. Development, you can see I have my report and my data set. And then if I go back to the workspace, so you can see in production, I only have my data set. You need to publish this data set before you do all this. And then I have my report here that's live connected to the data set in my development workspace. You can see right here, data set, adventure works in development. How do you switch it? There are a lot of people like, Patrick, we don't want to write PowerShell. You can actually do it in the desktop. All you need to do is go to transform data, go to data source settings, Pick your data set. Remember, it's connected to development. I'm going to connect to production. Now, what you need to make sure is that the schema is the same between those two data sets, because if the schema in development is different from the schema in production, things might not work how you expect. So make sure that data set's already published out to production. It'll appear in this list. Go ahead and choose that data set and click connect. It'll appear like nothing's happening, but it's just a little patient. Look down at the bottom. You can see that it switched to production. Now what I can do is I'm going to say, Hey, you want to save? Yep. You can publish this report out. Look for production. There we go. And just like that, it's published to production. And then if we head back to our workspace in production, you'll see the new report. But if I switch this to lineage view, you'll see that this particular data set has multiple data sources and this report is connected to that data set. And if I switch to development and switch this to lineage view, you'll see the exact same thing, right? I didn't write any code. I didn't do any tricks. I just used data source settings in the desktop. All right, what do you think? Are you working with them reports? You're trying to figure out how to do this without writing code. Of course you can write code, but if you don't want to, you can use the desktop. You run into any challenges, you've done this a different way i love to know you know what to do post it in the comments below it's your first time visiting the guy on the cube channel hit that subscribe button if you like my video big thumbs up as always from adam and myself thanks for watching see you in the next video